You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. I have a great show for you. And remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. We'd really appreciate it if you would join us. If you can't load up and come to the Ozarks, then come. Take the journey with me. Oh, the Ozarks. There's no place on earth to match this area. Crystal springs by the hundreds, even more caves. The Ozarks are sights, sounds, and scenery. White oak holler where the drinking water rolled out from under the hill. Never had water that good since. And the blooms are all aglow. Soft drafts of perfumed light. Blue sky, white sun, and rolling green hills. Mm -mm. The wind blowing makes the treetops talk. The changing seasons pulls us like a magnet to new adventure. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. Life is now in session. The pups and I were up early this June morning at 4.30. After some food for the pups and coffee and oats for me, we took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks and watched the sun come up. Here at Naka, it's all about teamwork. We appreciate everything. The flowers, the laughter, the rain, the birds, the deer behind the office enjoying the sweet green. Mm-mm. The sun rises afresh each new day. Some of us find joy in toil, some in art, some in the open air and the sunshine. All of us find it in simply being alive. Life is the gift that no creature would part with. Respect and compassion integrity and character. In the old fable, the tortoise won the race from the hare, not by a single burst of speed, but by plodding on steadily, tirelessly. The story is told of two elderly women walking through a crowded country cemetery, remarking on the scenery and the tombstones, the first woman read an inscription out loud, here lies John Smith, a politician and honest man. Good gracious, said the other lady, isn't it awful? They had to put two people in the same grave. <laughs> Our character says so much about us. We've all known people who were not what they appear to be. People who work harder on image than integrity. It's still character that counts. Integrity will give you great peace of mind and an interesting byproduct and great influence in the lives of others. But as Will Rogers said, admirable behavior changes people's minds and hearts far more effectively than argument does. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost. When health is lost, something is lost. But when character is lost, 
all is lost. When Mark Twain has Tom Sawyer attend his own funeral and listen to the eulogies of people who think he has died, I think he is tapping into a universal fantasy that at our funerals, people will speak of how much they miss us and we will be comforted that our lives made a difference. Each person's life touches many others. If it's not there, it leaves a hole. That is what Naka says, along the western coast of the United States, there are huge groves of red cedars. They're tall and appear to be very strong, but their roots are shallow. Do you know what holds up these beautiful trees? They lean on each other. Not one of them can stand alone. Sound familiar? When Naka says, each person's life touches many others. If it's not there, it leaves a hole. Friends, we all have a philosophy of life. Whether or not we formulate it, does it end in self? Or does it include our relations and our duties to our fellows? General William Booth once was asked to send a greeting to his forces throughout the world. His life had been spent in unselfish service. Over the cable, he sent but one word others. Let me share this short quote, others. What we have done for ourselves alone dies with us. What we have done for others and the world remains and is immortal. It's an attitude of serving and caring for others more than you care for yourself. A person travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it. Love, simply stated, is the essence of life. Love is to attitude as the rain is to flowers. An acorn is designed to become a mighty oak tree, just as you are designed to grow into the best possible you. We all have unique gifts and talents and are here to leave our mark, to make the world a better and more beautiful place. If you are wondering where to find your purpose, you don't need to look far. It resides inside of you. This is why you have heard me say the quote from George Washington Carver. How far you go in life depends on your being tender with the young compassionate with the aged because someday in your life you will have been all of these. My final thought, when you're good to others, you are best to yourself. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.